Despite fighting for a world title in 12 of his last 13 fights, Emmanuel Navarrete's most recent win over Oscar Valdez was the biggest of his career. And while his next opponent, Robson Conceição, isn't quite at the level of Valdez, he still can't afford to be overlooked. Navarrete is currently on a 33-fight win streak and has virtually bulldozed every opponent he has faced. With his insane output, accuracy, and stamina, he has turned himself into possibly the top super featherweight in the world and one of the best active fighters from Mexico. He is the heavy favorite and the defending champion, and during his win over Valdez, he has never looked better. But for Conceição, this is business as usual. Every time he earns a shot at a champion, they are at an all-time best. He has fought for a world title twice already, and each time has come with strings attached. His first attempt was against WBC champion Oscar Valdez, who was coming off his career-defining KO of Miguel Burchelt. But in the lead-up, Valdez failed a drug test, A sample and B sample, but the fight went on like nothing happened. Conceição was stuck between a rock and a hard place. Either he fights a boxer on performance-enhancing drugs, or walk away from a world title fight and possibly never get one again. Valdez went on to win the bout after a unanimous decision. Almost exactly a year later, he was set to enter another world title fight against unified champ Shakur Stevenson. And while the drug test came back negative, so did the scale, at least for Stevenson. Having missed weight, the titles would be vacant, but could still be won by Conceição. But at just 130 pounds, not having to cut an extra pound and a half can be the difference between a win and a loss. Not to say that the weight was the only reason Stevenson won, but it definitely helped. Wild circumstance or not, Conceição still earned those opportunities. But at 34 years of age, it isn't a difficult leap to think this may be the last go for the 2016 Olympic gold medalist to win a world title. And what an opponent to go against. Navarrete is an unwavering, unstoppable force, throwing punches in bunches, stalking, chasing his opponents all over the ring. 33 in a row have tried, 33 in a row have failed. This is Navarrete's bout to lose, and using history as the best indicator of the future, the 28-year-old won't be slowing down anytime soon. But there's a reason they actually get in the ring. Betting odds don't help you win fights. Records don't help you win fights. All signs point to Navarrete, but in boxing, that means nothing. For Navarrete, it's about solidifying legacy. He is a three-division world champion. He has twice as many wins as his opponent has total contests. He is the epitome of a Mexican pressure boxer, never slowing down until the fight is over. For Conceição, it's now or never. He will get his third shot at a world title, and if there are no extreme circumstances, he will have every chance to play spoiler and reign all over the champ's parade. An unstoppable force versus a veteran on his last stand. A fight that cannot be missed.